James Sabalski. Welcome back, everyone, and buckle up while you're at it because this should be a doozy here this evening. Magnitogorsk had this quiet demeanor all day. We saw it at the morning skate. They know that they can win a championship tonight, Ray. They were pretty focused this morning, James. I thought they all looked forward to playing tonight. They weren't nervous. They want this game to start. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile, even though you're covering the bottom of the net. Quickly over to Curry. Magnitogorsk on the attack. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Came up with the save on that play. That was an important faceoff, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Devastating collision into the boards. Denies him on the slapper. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck. Magnitogorsk's got a hold of it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Andronov. Turns it aside. Cutting to the front of the net. Tremendous stop by Johansson. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Sends it quickly to Shabrikov. Here's a shot and a great save. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Oh, and another save. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Gets it over to Komarov. Quick feed to Kusev. Snaps one from the slot. Blocked in front. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good... Trying to engage a little physicality here. He's got a breakaway! Wait, wait, no, it's in! It's in the net! It's in the net! It looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net and the puck beats him with the shot. Magnitogorsk got the game's first goal and it comes late here in the first. I've liked the way they've played the period, but really the opposition's played just as well. There hasn't been much to choose from until this marker. The Russians have it now. Moves it to Maie. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Magnitogorsk's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. The power play guys are pumped here. They haven't had any chances tonight. Here's their first. The Russians take possession off the faceoff. Couldn't complete the pass. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Big save in front. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. Gusev's time is almost done. And serves up a little knock on the play. Horn sounds, and that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Magnitogorsk game, you gotta like it. Both ends of the ice, solid goaltending, and a little bit of offense as they lead it 1-0. You and while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Russians are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing the game. Moves the puck across to Curry. Into the attacking end. From point blank range. He was locked in there. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. On the wing up the neutral zone. Fantenberg's got it along the wing. Keeps hold of the puck. Big time save and a big time shot. And he regains control of the puck. The Russians take it along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Yakovlev. Magnitogorsk got the puck against the half wall. And he makes the save. Johansson's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Shot attempt completely fails on that. From one point man to another. And that's turned aside. The Russians gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the pass. Thunderous hit. You can hear it all the way from up here. Lots of times I miss playing, James. That's not one of them. I like I'm in a suit right now. That one hurt. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Lednan's going off to the box for two minutes. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Magnitogorsk power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They're not going to get it done, James, the way they've been going about it. Until they get people in front of the net and bang away at a rebound, it's not going to happen. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Off the glove and the puck skips away. The Russians play it along the boards. Quick pass to Maillet. Gets in front of it. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. Back to the blue line. Magnitogorsk got the puck inside the defensive zone. A chance from the slot. He scores! While they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize, they do a nice job there. They got out quick on that rush. Now they've got the extra man, and on the power play, they don't miss. The odd man rush goal is in the back of the net. Magnitogorsk now got up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, of right? Of course it Simple. is. Rocks him. Chris one. Stopped by the goaltender. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with a big stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And they come up empty handed. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. The Russians have it now. Magnitogorsk got position at center. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. There's another for the hit parade. Looks to set up at the point now. And that somehow stayed out of the net. On the doorstep. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Big open ice hit. 
was it ever. He really closed off the room. Nowhere to go. Forces the turnover in the offensive zone. Takes the puck along the boards. Magnitogorsk got a hold of the puck now. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Chance in front. Denies them in close. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Nice pass. And that goes off target. When guys start missing chances like this, this is when the goalie's in their head. They feel like they got to make a perfect shot every time. Horn sounds to end the second period. Do we dare jinx them and use the word shutout? I guess I just did. 2 nothing after 40. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. It's about to go down, period number three. James Savalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go, third period is underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? St. Petersburg had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Goldovin's got it across the line. Slides the puck down low. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got him with the toe. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Played along the wing. Cross ice feed in the offensive end. Great save by Johansson. Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. Receives the pass. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. Oh, wow, stops him again. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Unleashes a cannon with possession along the wall. I love the way they played. Mike Mitagoras looking to break out of their own end. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a blast. Scores! Up over top of the goaltender, off the bar and into the net. What a great shot. Ah, the old bar down. We all love when we get one of these. I think I had one in 18 years. The Russians are setting this up for an interesting finish here, Ray. A lot more interesting than it was a couple of minutes no ago. Kidding. Now, just down one, James. They can do this. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And that's picked off. Goldobin's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Moves it quickly over to Curry. Magnitogorsk coaches aren't having too much of a decision. It's in the back of the net. They score. Doesn't take them very long either with the delayed penalty. They're able to score. It nullifies their power play, but it doesn't really matter. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Russians' perseverance pays off. They're now up by a pair here in the third. Well, well-deserved, too, I would say, James. They've played a better game now with this two-goal cushion. They want to nurse this thing home. An easy save by Johansson. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Goldobin's played hard, guys, and he's even manufactured some offense in this game. I'm giving him my vote for this matchup tonight. Easy peasy right there by Johansson. And he slides it quickly to Kusev. To the front! Scores! They're right back in it! They get one to trail by one. There's still time left to look for the equalizer.
Well, that just zips on by him here. He didn't get much of a look through the traffic. Tried to make a big glove stop, doesn't get there. St. Petersburg's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Uses the force on that hit. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Tripping the call here. Always makes me crack up since I've retired and how guys argue about penalties that are so obvious. Two minutes is two minutes and off to the box he goes to think about it. Yakovlev's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability and it can really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Steps into it! Just off target. So much work goes into creating a scoring chance these days. It's so hard to get good ones, and then they miss the net. They, that's a frustrating scene of events for them. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. Quick pass to Curry. Under all sorts of pressure, here's a chance to clear. They need a goal here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice. Made the save on the play. And that carries off a stick. Curry's got the puck in his own zone. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Here's a chance to take advantage with the delayed penalty. They've got the extra attacker on the ice. It is all over. Not only are they Stanley Cup champions, they've also immortalized themselves with their names on the cup. What an amazing accomplishment. We see it year after year. The celebrations are so similar, but each one of them a little different and certainly more personal for each of these guys. the championship. I can't even imagine what that feeling must be like. What an amazing accomplishment to win and it must be such relief to get your hands on the trophy to realize this is it. This is what I played for. <laughs> 